Hey there, and welcome to Southern Crocheters Live. <laughs> this is a special, um, a live week of Southern Crocheters, and we are so excited. My name is Barbara, and I'm with Crochet Thera Therapy. I am half of Southern Crocheters. And Connie, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Connie. I'm from Just Another Stitch. And go Green Week! <laughs> <laughs> Connie, would you like to just give a little recap, a little explanation of this week and, um, you know, how we came up with it, what we were thinking? So today we're going to be doing um, crochet plant books. That's yeah. the topic for today. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be over on my channel. Yep. And we'll be talking about succulent and uh, cactus plants. Yay. Sharing a lot of patterns. Y'all right. know I love the patterns. <laughs> um, then Wednesday, it will be flowers. Yeah, Wednesday's flowers. Yes. On my channel. <clears throat> yes. Then Thursday is our make along which will yep. be on Barbara, Barbara's channel. <laughs> then Friday is the last day, which will be back on my channel. Yep. And we'll be talking about um, like hanging plants, vines, bonsai, basically stuff that kind of fits in the other categories. Yes, yes. <laughs> and all, all our lives are going to be at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time or 12, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Correct. So get your uh, green on. Yay! <laughs> hey, so Brenda. I want to say hi to Brenda and hi Robin. It's good to see you there. And um, so today is our first day of Green Week. And basically, we just want to inspire you. We are ready for spring. And I know a lot of you are too. We're ready for some green. Um, it's a little too early most places to plant anything. And if you have a not so green thumb for indoor plants, <laughs> like Connie says she does, um, these crochet plants are just the ticket, just the ticket. So anyway, we're excited. And um, so let's get started. Today is all about the books. Um, I was actually very surprised. Weren't you, Connie? How many yeah. books are out there just on crochet plant things? I was astounded. I really thought maybe I'll find one or two. I found a ton. So I just want to kind of go through those with you. It's almost like going to the bookstore. So let's just like get in the car, go over to the bookstore, and here we are. Um, we pulled in the parking lot and... Did you no, get a coffee, Connie? You don't drink coffee, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I drink coffee. I oh, love okay. some coffee. Let's I go over to the, to the coffee shop <laughs> that's in the bookstore. Let's get ourselves a good coffee. And now no, we're ready. One thing I do want to mention to everybody, yep. when it comes to crochet books, a lot of times you can get the books cheaper. If you go to like the used bookstores online, like Thrift Books is one, or you could like, I usually go to eBay. Nice. And they'll find they'll find the stores <clears throat> for you. Nice. nice. Another thing, sometimes libraries, um, you can request a book, and usually they'll try to get it for you. Yes. And you could go to the copy machine, make a copy of your pattern, and you know, that way if you don't have the money to buy the books. And um, hey, Naomi, it's good to see you. And um, so listen, if you're on, say hello to us. Um, we are going to try and keep up with the um, the chat, but you know, sometimes it's hard for us to do that. So, but Connie, that website that you said, Thrift Book, is it books or book.com? Let me see real quick. Hi, Patty. Hey, Patty. I never, um, I didn't... Um, I didn't hear about that before, so I wasn't, I'm not aware of that, so. Well, weather is crazy. <laughs> yeah, we've got rain right now and um, quite interesting. Okay, while you look that up, I am going to share a screen 
with our first. It's thrift books with an S at the end. Okay, thriftbooks.com. Good. Chrome tab. Oh, hey, look at this. Connie, there's a little button that says share tab audio. So if you're showing um, <clears throat> a YouTube video, you can click that tab and it won't come up with the voice on the video. That's nice. When you do choose to share. I'd never seen that before. Me okay, either. guys. Yeah. Um, when you do the share. Okay. So this is our first book. It is called Not Monsters. Plant potted plant edition. And this one has 12 amigurumi um, plants, crochet patterns. So let me click on this and get the big screen up. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. So this, I'm going to scroll down. You can see at the top, there's some hanging plants. There's even a little bonsai in there. <clears throat> There are some succulents. There's even a palm tree in there. That is so cute. So let's keep scrolling because it's going to show a couple of the plants. Here we go. So here's um, some of the succulents and um, looks like maybe a cactus or I think that might be an aloe plant. I think this one has an aloe plant on it. Let's keep scrolling. I love here, are the, <laughs> here are the hanging plants. Those are super cute. Um, there are all kinds. There's some with the, the swirlies. Um, <clears throat> the one on the left, I saw a pattern online for that. Um, and that is super interesting. Um, I don't remember what that one was called. Oh, okay, here we go. So this one has... Um, it even has a little section about how to crochet. It has a succulent. It has a snake plant, lucky bamboo, aloe vera, palm tree, Venus flytrap. That has got to be cool, the Venus and flytrap. And I found one on Etsy that oh. I'm going to be sharing. Oh, good. good. I think that will be on Friday. Oh, awesome. We'll have, to, we'll have to watch every day so that we can keep up with all of these plants. There's a tree a succulent sedum, I'm not sure what that is, a bonsai tree and hanging plants. So this book has quite a lot of things. Oh, look at these. They're so, so cute. cute. There's the bamboo on the left. And I may even throw in some tree patterns on Friday. Nice. I think I saw some fruit trees. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at these. Oh, here's the Venus flytrap on the left side. You can see that it. if you look real close, you can see that it's like opened a little bit. That is really cool. Oh, if somebody, you know, if you know somebody who is like really um, into these kind of plants or like if they really like that movie with the Venus flytrap, you know, food me. And um, that that would be a really cute gift. To oh, give. The one on Etsy is uh -huh. like really awesome. Oh, that is it? Don't even compare to the one I found on Etsy. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's hey, awesome. Julia and Cheryl. How are y'all? Hey, Patty. Hey, Julia. Cheryl, hey. nice to see you. <laughs> Happy Green Week. <laughs> Get our green on. All right. So let's go to the next one. I'm just going to go in order here. But oh, yeah, there's some really cool patterns out there for plants. Yeah. Okay, so this one is, now, as you'll see, I just went to Amazon. So all of these, and I have quite a few, all of these are strictly um, Amazon. If you look at this one, the Kindle, if you have Kindle Unlimited, it's $0. Read with Kindle Unlimited. Um, and then um, as a paperback, this one is just $12.24. It has 100 lace flowers to crochet, a beautiful collection of decorative floral and leaf patterns for thread crochet. Um, I think it also has knit in there, it's saying. Um, so this one is kind of cool. Now, 100 flowers, that is quite, oh, let's see. Yep. 
that is quite um, a book right there. Um, so that one, it doesn't really, it doesn't let me go in and see what's going on in that one. So we'll stop it's, sharing there. Have some gorgeous flower patterns. Oh, wow. I can't wait till the flower day so that you can share some of those. That's why I'm glad we're getting the books out of the way because um, as just one whole, it's kind of like an overview of everything, right? And then once we get into the week, we are going to show some things. Oh, this is really cool. Um, this one is just beautiful. This one is crocheted wreaths for the home. And just look at that. How pretty is that? Um, let me see That's if I can go down. Colorful. Very colorful. Look at all of those different designs, the leaves, the flowers. There's all different kinds of flowers in there. Let me see if... There we go. Oh, look at that. Look, there's a little hedgehog in there in one of them. <gasps> They even have the um, the little, it looks like pussy willows. Do you see that right, right yeah. on the lower right bottom? And there's a mouse there. And then at the top, the one on the top right, it has the bird. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I hadn't looked at that. Oh, claim your free book. Okay. Oh, look at that one. Nice. Those are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been going down the plant rabbit hole lately. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It has little foxes on it. And then it even has something on there that kind of looks like moss for like the fall. Oh my goodness. Something for every, oh, that is an autumn wreath. That is an autumn wreath. And then there's an ivy wreath, a winter wreath. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. So I really like that one. Um, 12 gorgeous wreaths to match, to mix and match, it says. Um, projects for all year. It has 12, so maybe it's one for every month. Sweet. Interesting. All right. Connie, are you, do you put wreaths on your door? Do you decorate with I, wreaths? I do but i go in spurts sometimes yeah. sometimes i put them up sometimes i don't i make yeah. my own wreaths too usually do you oh that's awesome yeah i've made a couple different wreaths um but um i feel like in our new house i am gonna have a pretty wreath on the door oh look at this um Modern crochet garden, stylish flower and succulent patterns to stitch in a day. 22 quick projects. That's interesting. Let's see. Let's see all nine images here. Hi, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Good to see you. Okay, let's see. Okay, this one is an Thank overview. You. Oh, yeah. Look at these. Hey, it even has, oh my gosh, do you see the one at the top third from the left? It is a crocheted plant hanger with a crochet pot with crochet succulents in it. The whole thing is crochet and um, it's a hanging pot. It's, it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. And then there's daisies. Nice. Nice. I wish I could see all of this, but oh, well, I, I can. Here we go. Okay, let me see if I can make that one bigger. Let's go up a little bit. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Can you see that a little bit better? Yeah, but okay. I wish you could see it like really in full. I know. I do too. It's not letting me. Um, oh, wait. There is one page that has, well. I think, is that it? That's it. That is a succulent garden. So it has um, the plant hanger, the pot, and lots of succulents to go inside. How pretty is that? You know, that would be just a gorgeous gift to give someone um, at Christmas or for their birthday if you made that up. And it, especially if it's, you know, life size and um, 
especially for someone who lives in maybe a smaller apartment and they and they can just hang that they don't have to worry about whether it's going to get light or not you know <laughs> that's the problem with real plants you have to actually take care of them hmm. and i love like the um succulent gardens with all the different ones oh, me too me too that is i i actually would like to try my hand at some succulents i don't know Tomorrow's the day for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this book is called Hooked on Flowers, 50 Flowers, 8 Leaves, 6 Critters, Crochet Pattern. And this is a Kindle edition. The Kindle is $4.99, or you can read with our free app, it says. So um, let me see if it will let us see inside. But 50 Flowers, 8 Leaves, 6 Critters. That sounds nice. Um, let me see. And you know, the good thing, you don't have to have a green thumb to have plants. I know, right? Okay, so this shows us a little bit. Oh, okay, so the critters, there's a ladybug. There's a little woolly worm. There is a little, is that a little bird? A little birdie bird? Um, let's see. And the flowers. <laughs> Oh, there's a ton. Sunkiss, Nature's Touch, Buttercup. Louisiana Magnolia. Oh, yeah. Louisiana Magnolia. There you go. A daffodil, a poppy, moonflower. Let's go down and see if we can see some more photos. Hmm. Flowers. Award flower. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. That looks, that almost looks like a, um, a rose. Lemon shine. Rose sphere. Interesting. Oh, let me see that blue one. Now oh, let's see. Let's look at that one. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Amapola. Yeah, that is pretty. So anyway, that one is the 50 hooked on flowers, 50 flowers. Let's see what else we've got here. Connie, have you crocheted any um, plants or flowers? No, ever? not yet. I mean, I've made projects with flowers on them. Right, right. But not like right. as a plant plant. Right. Not just like as an all-in-one plant, right? But it does, have, it does have my curiosity. I may have to, in the future, make some plants, put them on my little shelves behind my filming area. Right. Have some green going on back there. This one is called 66 Flowers Crochet Pattern, Applique Patterns. And this is a Kindle edition. That's that's funny. That's how come I found so many. Um, but, you know, with the Kindle, a lot of them are free. So let's take a look. Oh, look but at these. I think you have to have the Kindle service, like the subscription. You do. So it's, it's not completely free. <laughs> right. Right, right. Hey, Kindle you. edition, it says five. I think if you have if you have the Kindle Unlimited, that's what it is. So if you have bought the, the subscription for Kindle Unlimited, then this is free. How are you doing today, Nisi? Hey, Nisi, good to see you. So I see a poppy on this one. Um, I see a violet. Oh, look, not only does it have the written instructions, but it also has um, the, um, what do you call that? The, the design thing where it shows you the, the photo. Oh, the yes, yes. So look at those. I've never been able to follow the graphs and crochet. <laughs> Yeah, I have practiced. What I've practiced is um, I will <coughs> read the instructions and then I will compare it to the graph and I will, um, and I've taught myself a little bit about reading those. It's actually not as hard as you think, but um, you have to kind of be a visual learner. I don't know if you're a visual learner or not. 
Um, it depends. Yeah. Sorry about that. I thought I had muted my mic. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this I've one. been coughing lately, so. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. My mother told me um, to um, drink some whiskey. She said that that would burn my throat enough so that it would take the tickle away. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> but I, do, I try to mute my mic if I have to go to cough, but. Yes. Yes. Okay, so here's another one. It is Simple Flowers Crochet Tutorials, Patterns for Crochet Flowers You Should Know. Pretty. So I it see has... Them on, I uh -huh. see them on beanies. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, one thing that I would really like to learn is once you get the flowers made, how do you, like, attach it to a stem to make it into a... Um, like a floral arrangement. So maybe on flower day, maybe Connie will have some um, some patterns that will actually tell you how to do that. I've never done that. That would be really interesting. I would think you would just sew it on. Um, now, <laughs> another thing too, to keep like stuff from showing through, you can use that clear thread. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's some pretty flowers. Let's see. Simple flowers, crochet tutorials. Oh, headbands too. <laughs> oh, gosh. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Um, there we go. There's that same flower. Let's see if we can get a different one. Nope. Let me see. Abbreviations. Copyrighted materials. So that's all they're going to show us on that one. But uh, Simple Flowers Crochet Tutorials, Diverse Array Projects. Um, it says that there are 25 flowers in this one. In the description, that's what it says. 25 pattern features flowers that are easy and creative. So easy is good, right? And um, we definitely like creative. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on time? Hey. We're 20, 22 minutes in. Okay, good, good. Let's We're about see. halfway. <laughs> okay, all right. And um, that's good because I am not quite halfway through this. But Okay, so this one is um, Flower Crochet, Crochet for Beginners. Let's see what this one looks like. This these flowers are similar. Um, crochet bouquet. Okay, so there's only two images on that. This one um, is a paperback edition, six ninety nine. That's not bad. Um, you can either buy a new one for six ninety nine, or you can buy a used one for nine dollars. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Guess which one I would choose. <laughs> oh my or, goodness. Or you can go you can also go to other websites too. Yes. Like I was saying earlier, the yes. used bookstores online. Right. I, I always search in those to see if I can find a book cheaper. Right, right. Okay, so we looked at not monsters with the potted plants edition. Not monsters has actually quite a few different patterns and not just all um, plants. They have all kinds of things. I really like this. Um, but this one is the Cactus Garden Edition, mm -hmm. 12 Amigurumi crochet patterns. And these are just cute. Okay. They're a little bit, um, you know, they have eyes on the pots. So you know and that. Uh, if you don't that want eyes, you don't have to put no. them. No, but they're just super, super, super cute. So look at these. How cute are these? Let's see. I'm curious. Who plans to start uh, crocheting some plants? <laughs> I want to know too. And I hope that they join us on Thursday with a little bit of scrap yarn for a pot, some dirt, a cactus and a little flower, just whatever colors you want. Um, and 
hey, if you want to put eyes on your pot on there on Thursday, you can do that too. I didn't put eyes on my pot. These are really cute, really cute. Now their, their pots are a little fancier than the one that I came up with. Let's see. They have cactus. Oh, wow. Lots of cactuses. 12 cactuses or cacti, should I say. <laughs> oh, look at those. How cute. I, I found some patterns for Christmas cactuses or cacti, oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I love the Christmas cactus. Oh my. We always had a Christmas cactus growing up. Let's see. And I love that on there, they say nothing is hard, only new. And they have this section, apparently I've seen it in several of the not- monster pattern books. Um, so they try to make it simple for everyone. Um, you know, whether you're an expert um, crocheter. Ah, oh, look, there's not monster. <laughs> there we go. And whether, you know, you're an expert crocheter or not, they try to make it um, easy, which I like. I like that a lot. Oh, one thing I do want to mention before I forget about this, uh -huh. if any of y'all have ever made plants, mm -hmm. you know, crochet plants, um, send pictures and yes. we'll include it in a little video yes. in the lives mm -hmm. this week. <laughs> yes, yes. And, um, oh yeah, thanks, Nisi. it's the diagram. And um, once you know the symbols, it's not too bad. I'm a visual person too. So Nisi says she's a visual person, so the diagram helps her too. It helps me. I've, I've really come to rely on it um, in a couple different areas. So let's see. I like the, the, the patterns written out. Yes, I do too. And um, really, for the most part, I prefer a written pattern than a video tutorial, unless it's something that I don't know how to do. Right. Right. Where I actually need to see it. <laughs> right. Right. And I like that too. Oh, look at these 100 flowers to knit and crochet. So this one is also knit, but look at mm. these flowers. How pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it says fold out this flap. The book is awesome. Look at that butterfly. 100 flowers to knit and crochet. Pretty. Very pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Carrots and peas. Okay. Let's see the flowers. Um, oh, there's even projects and evening handbags, stationery, Christmas gift wrap. What? <laughs> Down the plant rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know it. You know it. Okay, let's see. Come on. Julia's saying she made a sunflower in a pot with dirt. So, oh, yeah, wow. send me a picture and we I'll would love that. Yeah. We'll include it in a video during the week. Definitely. That looks like a poinsettia. Pretty. It might not be, but it looks like one. Who knows? <laughs> okay. I think I came across the pattern for a poinsettia. Did you? Like a, a real pretty, pretty one. Yeah. But I also don't know how, because I can only share so many patterns on a log. Yes. yes. So. You don't know if that's one of them that you chose, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Have a good day, Naomi. And hey, hey Naomi. Hi, Charity. How are you? And Charity. Jay. Good to see you. Hey, Jay. Okay, let's see. Cheryl saying, I've made flower embellishments, but not an actual plant. Nice. Go nice. ahead and send that. It's still flowers. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, this one is by Not Monsters also. It's the Flower Pens Edition. How cute is this? Let's see. Oh my goodness. 12 Amigurumi crochet patterns for flower pens. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. So cute. Look, you crochet <laughs> around a pen, all the way up a pen, and put the flower on top and some leaves. You have a pot. 
and then you stick the pen down in it. <gasps> that is a good idea for the stems. Girl, look at that. Those are cute. There's a daffodil, a sunflower, a daisy, a calla lily, a rose. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Look at those. I know. So <laughs> it's like once you start digging into the patterns, it's oh like you gosh. can't stop. This is amazing. Listen, if you belong to a group of any kind and you normally give out, you know, gifts at Christmas or something, consider this. How cute is that? Get a really nice ballpoint pen, one that's really nice now. And um, I don't know how you would, if it's a clicker, I don't know how you would, but you know what? You could just still click and squeeze it. I'm sure because it's crochet, right? And then make these up and give them to your friends oh my gosh make one up and give one to me i want one <laughs> how about I, you bonnie <laughs> i mean yeah i mean you could do so much with that oh i know mother's day <gasps> look mother's day look this one has a little bee with it oh so my cute. goodness <laughs> okay yes i know i'm going a little goofy about these i can't help it okay let's see they have a Daisy, tulip, iris, calla lily, sunflower. They have two versions of the sunflower. They have a rose, a crocus, a hibiscus, aster, daffodil, dahlia. And I think that's it. Oh, look. How pretty. I mean, nobody's going to be stealing your pen, right? Because you'll be like, hey, bring me back that pen. <laughs> <laughs> Do not leave with that pen. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm in love with that one. That one's on my list of must have. Write your letters. Write your letters with your pen. Right? How fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's on my list. I'm going to have to get that. And um, so this, we'll rename this Shopping with Barbara. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Connie, remember the day that you turned me on to that yarn, yarn place and I like ice yarns or whatever. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. And you're like, yep, you just went down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm a bad influence, but in a good way. <laughs> you are, you are. Okay. Um, let's see. How are we with time? We're, we're pretty good. We've got about 15 minutes. Not really. We have about 12 minutes. Okay. So, um, 30 crochet. Let's see. I am trying to find something that we haven't seen before. Jay's, okay. wa Jay's wondering about if you could use a mechanical pencil. I don't Ooh. know. Why if, not? If right. Because you're going to tuck that in there and if you need to tuck it in and then put a little bit of a dot of glue like to keep it from sliding off too easy oh yeah i don't see why not how adorable it, because you should be able to insert it at the end of the yes. pencil and so then if work. you if you wanted then you could like take it out and like you know if you need to refill with the mechanical pencil you know how it runs out of the pen lead and we, okay. have, we have, sorry, we have Patty here. Hi, Patty. Hey, Patty. Good to see you. She loves flowers and making butterflies. Oh, you just gave me an idea for a topic for, for future lives. <laughs> oh, yay. Good. Look at this. These are house plants to crochet. Look at these house plants. I, I love the one. I don't know what, what the name of the plant is. Uh -huh. not, not the cactus, but the one on the other side. With the little round disc. That is really cute. Let's see if we can find a name for that one. Oh, look at that. There we go. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That is so cute. Does anyone know the name of that plant? Yeah, let me see if it, it will say. I don't know. Too bad it doesn't have the name. Okay, here we go. So we have... Okay, we have eucalyptus wreath, string of nickels, 
snake plant, fishbone cactus, drumstick flower, frame fern, spear orchid. That might be a frame fern. I don't know. Silver torch, thumb cactus. That is so cute. Look at those. I know. I like the little succulent that looks like it has branches. Yes. Hmm. Those are really cute. Cheryl saying, is it a, a nest? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look at this. There's a fern leaf. And it's like a pressed, pressed fern on a um on a frame. That's kind of cool. Wow, that's impressive right there. I love how Jay says <laughs> those house plants would be perfect. They they stay living. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right? No worries about like losing it. Thumb cactus. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and with cactuses, you don't have to worry about the little prickly things pricking you. You got that right. Okay, got Julia. That. I'll be putting it in a video um, sometime this week. Based on the amount of pictures, I may do one video. And then if we get more, do another one later. Yeah. Or, or I may try to fit them with the topic for that day. But it kind of depends. Yeah. Oh, this is called the friendship plant. Ooh. You see that? That's what that's called, friendship plant. I'm going to see if I can find any other patterns for, for that. that type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, I really like this one. The, it's called a string of nickels. It's on the right-hand side. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. They, they have some of like the ivy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Y'all going to be seeing some cool stuff this week. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is this is a keeper book, too. Snake plant and silver torch cactus. Okay. Ooh. I like how that one has the yellow. Yes, around the edge. Yes. Oh, and I, I can't think of what you call this plant. It's the one with the real colorful um, leaves. It, it may be like elephant. Or coleus. Coleus. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think it's, I can't say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I always yeah. love how colorful the leaves are. Yes. Yes. Okay. This one is a fishbone. Let's see. Wait a minute. It was called fishbone cactus look at this one that one's pretty cool oh my look at this a zebra plant Ooh, let me look that now, up. <laughs> yeah now a lot of these it looks like they've put them in real pots but and you could do that that would save you time right or, or you, you could just say your own pot <laughs> exactly exactly oh look at that so, you know, they must really be proud of that friendship plant because that one features really, what is going on with my computer? That really features um, prominent, doesn't it? Let's see. Mm. All right. I think everyone's going to be going to Amazon <laughs> or other bookstores. Put this in my cabinet. Put this in yeah, my I know. And this one, um, May 17th, 2023, it's coming out in paperback. It says May 17th, 2023. So not yet, but that one is awesome. So this is a brand new book. This one hasn't, it's getting published um, in May of this year. So it'll be a while before you can find a used version. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Well, I just got stuck on that one. My goodness. Let me see if I can find one or two more. Really fun. Okay. Here's one. Um, well, I don't know. Oh, wait. Hi, I'm Gloria. Doing... How are you?
Okay, this one is called Crochet Collage Garden. 100 patterns for crochet flowers, plants, and petals. So 100, very pretty. And a lot of these, it looks like they could be used as um, even appliques. Let's say you have, uh, you know, a sweater. Like Robin has been really into making sweaters. Um, and what if she took one of those, one of these and like, you know, did a little design or something on the shoulder. So this one is even showing the real flowers. Or baby blankets. Oh, yes. Baby blankets. Definitely. Or hats. Wait a minute. These are not crochet, are they? <laughs> Did I send you that one or? Um, I, you know, this one looks familiar. There were several of them that you sent me that, um, Okay, Woodland Glade. Oh, look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty that is. Oh, my goodness. Or another it, thing, mm -hmm. sorry, another yeah, thing that would be cute would be like using buttons. Oh, yes. On the especially, flower. Yes, especially little, um, those little tiny buttons that go on like baby sweaters and things like for the center of flowers. How cute, how cute. Let's Ooh, see. a little cup cozy. Oh, how Look adorable. You, know, you could really run with this, couldn't you? Look at these pretty flowers. Like right up here. Look at this. They took all of those flowers and they turned it into a beautiful art display, right? Um, you could use these on just about anything. I really like that. It looks like they have a good um, a good variety, so that's good. Okay, there was one more that I wanted to show that you sent me, and I had already um, picked that up, but I want to I want to show that because that was one of the first ones. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it. And one thing too, like if y'all make plants down the road, mm -hmm. send us pictures. We want to see them. <laughs> yes, we definitely do. Okay, here it is. This is the one that we both, um, uh, this one is a paperback. Just came out January of 2023. It's a little more expensive. The list price is $27.99. Um, right now it says buy new 2117, um, crocheted house plants and they look so pretty. I look love at that. The one with the white flowers, the three white flowers. It's an orchid. Yes. So pretty. So pretty. Let me look at this one. This one has the orchid too. Let Ooh. me see if I can bring it in a I little bit. I saw point set us. <laughs> did. Okay, let's move it over. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And then look at this one. Mm -hmm. It has the colors on it, Connie, like we were talking about. And that one's a little different from the ones that I've seen. Right. Because, like, it has, like, the lines of the leaf in red. Yes. The veins. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I've good. actually seen real plants like that. They're really kind of pretty. It looks Christmassy. <laughs> It does. It does. And that what? one is just really pretty. Gloria is asking what the name of the wreath book is. Okay. Let me see if I can go back and find it. Um, in fact, I know I can. So don't worry about that. Um, do you have the links of the books in the, I do. Oh, okay. I do. And I have them all still up. I haven't closed anything out. So what I'll do after we're done I will click the link and put it down below. So give me a little bit after we get done and look at those right there. Look at the purple one in the middle. Oh, I was about to say that. <laughs> that almost <laughs> looks like a bleeding heart because it's a heart, but the bleeding colors, hearts I've seen are red a lot of times. This one's purple. The colors make me think of wisteria. Mm, maybe that's what it is. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to have to see if I can find a pattern for that. With yes. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> okay. So we have a yucca, um, a herringbone plant, the one with the red 
veins. That one's called a herringbone plant. We have a moth orchid. That's the one with the three flowers that you liked. Um, a mountain cowslip, a poinsettia, an inch plant. Okay, so the one, oh, the one with the purple, it's called String of Hearts. Ooh. That's the name of that, String of Hearts. And then the one with the, um, with the circles right here in the middle, I know it's hard to see, I know it. That is a Chinese monkey plant, crown cactus, a Boston fern, wow. A Venus flytrap, a Swiss cheese plant. Those are the big, big leaves that have the holes in them and it's called Swiss cheese plant. Oh, they have a coleus too. Look at this one. Do you see this one in the middle? Yeah. Like red and purple, and then it has the green on the outside. It has a coleus, moonstones, curly jade. So this one is basing off of actual flowers and actual house plants. If you have a favorite house plant like the coleus or um, you know, the curly jade plant, here's one up here called a donkey's tail, um, a tiger aloe. Um, let's see, century plant, sweetheart plant, fishbone cactus, snake plant, spider plant. I used to have spider plants in my house. Fun fact, if you put a spider plant in, in your house, it, it helps um, rejuvenate the oxygen in your home. So they are very healthy to have in your kitchen, like if you want to hang one over your sink um, so that it can get a little bit of light. It's very healthy for you. And then the African violet. Who doesn't love an African violet? Oh, if someone's looking for a certain plant or flower pattern, uh -huh. you know, y'all can like email me and mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find that. But just yes. make sure you, you request it in enough time before the live, for, you know, that covers that type of plant. Yes. So tomorrow is floral, right? It's no, no, no it's cactus. Okay. And succulents. And succulents. So if you have a certain succulent, like hen and chicks, I love the hen and chicks, Connie. I think, <laughs> they're I, just... I think, there's, I think there is one I'm sharing. The mm -hmm. hen and uh, chicks. Yes. Hen and chicks. That's my favorite of the succulents um, because that's the kind that I had when we were, when I was growing up. Um, we had them in our front garden and um, I just remember them. I really love them. So this is a close up of the coleus plant. Um, it's really pretty. So, <laughs> and then this one is a close up of, well, uh, quite a few of them actually. Look how big that Swiss cheese fern is. That Swiss cheese plant is right there on the left hand side. Look how tall that is compared to the other ones. So that one has tall stems. You would probably need to um, crochet like around a, a, a rod or like a dowel, a wooden yeah, dowel or something. something. Yeah, to keep that up. And also with the snake plant right here, look how tall that is. Right in the center, it's very tall. Um, <laughs> right in here, let's see, this right here. You would have to have something going in the center of that to hold that up. I really like that string of hearts. And then right here in the center with the red in the center, that is a Venus flytrap. So that is fun. Oh my goodness, we've gone uh, four minutes over. <laughs> and we don't wanna go over this week because we're doing it every single day. But I so see some books that are on my wish list. I'm gonna go and put those. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're right. Those houseplants are not. Hey, Gloria, it's good to see you. Um, okay, the wreath book. Okay, right? That's what we need to find. Um, I can find it in just a second and I'll share it again. Just give me just a minute. My water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. There we go. This one is called Crocheted Wreaths for the Home, 12 Gorgeous Wreaths 
and 12 matching mini projects for all year. And so it's Crocheted Wreaths for the Home by Anna, N-I-K-I-P-I-R-O-W-I-C-Z. Not even going to try <laughs> to um, skewer that name, right? I'm horrible at pronouncing names. Yes, me too. So like this one, scientific oh. type words. Yeah. And it drives me crazy when I don't say them correctly. So here's one. It almost looks like it even has moss on it with the little. Oh, look at this one. We didn't see that <laughs> one. Oh, my gosh. It has pom-poms. It has a little fairy. Oh, my goodness. Like a little fairy hat up top. And lots of stockings. Let's see what this one is. Oh, this one is a is the um, Halloween wreath. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Okay, mini project key ring. And the succulents wreath. That's what the main, on the front page, it's called the succulents wreath. And, um, oh yeah, very, very cute. Okay, this one is the one that has the hedgehog and a little mouse and a little birdie. Very cute. So cute. Very cute. So, and then this one is for Easter because it has little Easter eggs on it. So, okay. Was that Gloria that wanted that information? I think it was. Yeah. So, Gloria, that's what it's called, crocheted wreaths for the home. Um, according to this, U.S., it's eleven eighty nine. Um, so, there's that. Um, and this one came out April seventh of 2020 so it's not that old three years old but um so there's that one anyway let me stop sharing that well connie our first day of the crochet green week was so fun i hope that you enjoyed it as much as i did um Go oh, green. <laughs> i know i can't wait to um you know do something with the pens and with the wreaths and those potted plants were so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Um, oh, Gloria says, thank you so much. That's going to be a birthday present for me. That's what she's saying for her, not for me, but for her. Oh, so awesome. Awesome. Gloria, happy birthday. I hope that, um, that you enjoy that book and listen if you crochet something out of it take a photo and share it to us so that we can see it i would love that love it um cheryl says using florist wire as stems might work they would be flexible that's true especially if you were wanting them to stand straight but then also kind of have a little flow like a normal like a a normal plant would be because you're not going to get those like unless it's a cactus it's not going to have that, um, you know, really stiff, straight uh, leaf pattern. So you doing okay, Connie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I do not like when I start coughing. No, me either. I Normally, the yeah, more yeah. the more talking I do. Yes. That's when it, especially like end of lives. Yes. That's usually yes. when coughing tends to hit me the most. I know the feeling. I do. So let's go ahead and sign off. And um, I'll sign off first and then you can sign off. And okay. we hope that you will meet with us tomorrow on Just Another Stitch channel, Connie's channel. And we're going to be talking all things succulents and um, um, what was the other thing? Succulents, cactus, cacti. <laughs> And, um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's head on over to Connie's channel tomorrow. Same time, different place tomorrow. And we're going to have fun. I can't wait to see you. So thanks for joining us on Southern Crocheters Live. Stay safe, be kind, and get hooking. Much love to everyone. Connie? I hope everyone has a fabulous Yorny day. Actually, a fabulous Yorny week. Yay! Make it a year. <laughs> oh, right? Be the Who doesn't need a whole year? <laughs> <And> bye. <laughs> bye, everyone.